Hi there, namaste, a very warm welcome on Yoga with Naveen. My name is Naveen Sharma and in this video we are going to be doing a quick 30 minute yoga session wherein I will be taking you through warm up, Surya Namaskar followed by asanas and relaxation. That is exactly the agenda of our today's session. So for you to get the best benefit, make sure you stay in the session till the end. Now, if you have been practicing for some time with me and want to take your practice to the next level, I have an announcement for you. You can join my live interactive yoga classes, which I take on Zoom, where I can see you while you are moving in the postures. And that will give me the opportunity to correct your postures, helping you deepen your practice in a much better way. To know more, you can log on to yogawithnaveen.com. And for your ease, I'm also leaving the link in the description below so you can check that out after this session. Haven't subscribed to the channel yet? Consider subscribing it and hit the bell icon button so that you never miss a video from my side. And now without a further ado, let's begin the session with centering. Sit in a comfortable position like this, Sukhasana. Bring your hands in Chin Mudra, palms facing up. Roll the shoulders behind and gently close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breath. Consciously slowing down your inhale and exhale. Every breath is bringing you to this beautiful moment. Let's repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. I am thankful for each moment of my life. On that positive note, let us bring palms to the heart space. We'll chant together Omkar to invoke the energies. Let us take a deep breath, inhale. Gently starting to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies in your palms. And slowly bring the warmth of your palms to your face. Energize yourself, looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, so let's get started now with warm up. First, we will be doing spinal circles, sitting in Sukhasana. So right now you are here, just take your palms on your knees. Just look at me once, what you will do, you will move yourself to the right, You'll move yourself forward, arching your back here, going to the left, and now you are rounding the back. This makes one round. Like this, we'll do five from the right side, and then five anti-clockwise. So let's begin together now. First inhale. Start. Exhale. And now inhale while you are in the front. Again, exhale. Two. Inhale while you're moving forward. Exhale while you're moving back. Three. Four. Last one. Perfect. Reversing it. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Three. Four, last one, five, awesome, perfect, that was to prepare our spine, let's prepare the back of our legs, which is hamstring and the hips, for this we will get ourselves into malasana position, deep squat position, if deep squat is a challenge, you can be doing half squat, from here basically you will straighten the legs 
and then again you come down so when you're coming down you're inhaling when you're lifting the hip you are exhaling and for this i will be keeping the fingers below the center of my feet vayu nishkasana this is called as in case this is challenging you can keep it out as well let's go for next five rounds like this inhale exhale gently lifting your hip as high as possible again inhale keep going two three four last one five and now stay here for five one two three four and five gently bring yourself down inhale exhale releasing your hands and now inhale gently come up and stand up wonderful so we are done now with the warm up moving ahead now with our today's surya namaskar which is shivanand style surya namaskar we are aiming at at least 5 rounds so let's come to the beginning of your mat in the first round i'll go slightly slower and then from there on we will pick up the pace let's bring the hands together in namaste at the heart space feet a little bit apart from here inhale raise your arms up higher going uh, going for hast uttanasan tighten the glutes here and then exhale starting to lean forward down having the knees gently bent getting your fingertips on the ground this is pada hastasan now taking your right leg back with inhale as far back as possible right knee down be on your fingertips you are inhaling here in ashva sanchalanasan taking the left leg back and getting yourself into santulan asana wrist and the shoulders in line toes and the heel in line you are holding your breath here with exhale then you take your knees down chest and chin down elbows facing up ashtanga namaskar then slide your abdomen forward inhale get yourself into bhujanga asana elbows slightly bent and closer to you push the shoulder shoulders away from your ears and then exhale moving back into parvat asana you can definitely have your knees slightly bent if you want to or else straighten press your heels down gently inhale taking the right foot again forward now we are repeating the asanas left knee down look forward inhale ashva sanchalan asan exhale left leg forward pada hastasan inhale raising your hands up higher and gently bending back your palms are facing up and then exhale pranayama asana relax in samasthiti every time we do you get into samasthiti this was first half let's go for the second half now pranayama asana inhale raise your hands hast uttan asana tighten the glutes exhale and leaning forward down to pada hastasan inhale left leg goes back ashva sanchalan asan hold your breath right goes back santulan asan exhale knees chest and chin down ashtanga namaskar inhale getting yourself into bhujang asana turning your toes in moving back into parvatasan taking the left leg forward it's absolutely fine if you have to drag it ashva sanchalan asan exhale right goes forward pressing your palms down pada hastasan inhale and gently bending back hast uttanasan exhale pranayama asana so now we've completed entirely one round which consists of 24 steps let's go for four more now without a break palms together in namaste inhale gently bend back exhale leaning forward down inhale taking the right leg back hold your breath taking the left leg back exhale knees chest and chin down inhale gently come up to bhujangasan exhale moving back into parvatasan moving your right leg forward getting yourself into ashva sanchalan asan exhale left leg goes forward inhale gently bending back hast uttana exhale pranayama asan another half inhale gently bending back exhale leaning forward down 
Inhale, left leg goes back. Hold your breath, right leg goes back. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, Bhujangasan. Exhale, moving back into Parvatasan. Left leg goes forward. Inhale. Exhale, right goes forward, Pada Hasta. Inhale and gently bending back. Hastuttana. Exhale, Pranam. Let's go for the third round now. Inhale, gently bending back. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, right goes back. Hold your breath, left leg goes back. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, gently come into Bhujanga. Exhale, moving back into Parvatasan. Inhale, right leg goes forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, gently bending back. Exhale, Pranamasan. Another half, inhale, bending back. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, left leg goes back. Hold your breath, right. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Parvata. Inhale, left leg goes forward. Exhale, right. Inhale, gently bending back. Exhale, Pranamasan. Wonderful. Let's go for the fourth round now together. Inhale, bending back. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, right goes back. Hold your breath, left leg. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale. Exhale, moving back. Inhale, right leg goes forward. Exhale, left leg. Inhale and gently bending back. Exhale, pranam. Another half. Inhale, bending back. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, left leg. Hold your breath, taking the right. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, bhujanga. Exhale, moving back into the downward dog. Gently taking your left leg forward, inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale, raising your hands, bending back. Exhaling, pranam. One last round to go. Once again, inhale, bending back. Exhale, down. Inhale, taking the right back. Hold your breath, left, santalan. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Parvata. Inhale, your right goes forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, gently bending back. And exhale, Pranamasana. Last half round. Inhale, bending back. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg. Hold your breath, right. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, gently bending back. Exhale, moving back into Parvata. Taking your left leg forward, inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale, gently bending back. And then exhale, Pranam. All right, so we are done here with our five rounds of Shivanand style of Surya Namaskar. Let's quickly go for five breaths to let our heart rate rest and relax, and then we'll get started with our asanas. Open your legs, palms facing forward. Let's go for five breaths.
All right. I'm sure with these five breaths, your heart rate, breath has come down. And now we are all set to get started with asanas. The first asana that we are doing right now is going to be a forward fold, wide leg forward fold. And this is Prasarit Padutan Asana C. So for this one, let us open the legs wider, turning your toes slightly in and keeping your heels a little bit out. Now, from here, we will simply do a forward fold. But in case you feel that a lot of rounding is happening on your back, you may consider bending your knees and then push your hip back. That will give you some leverage to straighten your back a bit more. Perfect. You will interlock your hands like this and at the back and then you will lean forward. In case this is challenging, keep your hands at the waist. Let's begin. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, both the hands together, interlock your palms and then leaning forward down with an exhalation. See if you can get the top of your head facing downwards. It's not about touching, just the facing downwards. And I'll look at the tip of your nose, feeling all the stretch from the back of your legs. One. Two. Three. Four, five, gently coming back up with inhale, exhale it out, wonderful. Now for once, bringing your legs closer, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale it out, perfect. Moving on to the next asana, this time we will open our legs slightly wider than previous asana. So try and open a little wider than this. Now this time turning your right toe to the right side and getting your right knee exactly on top of your right ankle. The left toe is facing towards me, foot completely grounded. Once you get here, now make sure you do not arch your back, create a posterior tilt, right? Tilt the pelvis in, abdomen is in, engage it nicely thigh almost parallel and the knee to ankle. Once you are here, now look at two variations. This is going to be a simpler one and this is going to be slightly more challenging, right? So whichever works best, go for it. Five breaths each side. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, lower body as it is. I'm going with this one, holding it here for five. One, open the torso nicely. Two. Three. Four, five, and then gently coming back. You can straighten the right leg, turn the right toe now towards me, and then the left toe going sideways. Bending your left knee now, getting your left knee exactly in line with your ankle. Again, do not have arch on your back, posterior tilt, and then either support or without support. Let's hold it here. One. Breathing in and out. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then gently coming back. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing your legs closer. Taking a deep breath. Inhale here. Exhale it out. Awesome. We're done with standing asanas. Time to go down on our knees. Now in case you feel the knees are sensitive, as soon as you keep it down, you feel some pinch. Fold your mat and press your, keep your knees on that. Right? This will give you some support. You can keep your toes in or keep it out. We're going ahead for Ushtrasana. I'll show you two versions. One is Ardha Ushtrasana, slightly simpler. Tightening the glutes, pushing the hip forward, and then bending back. The second one is going to be almost full, wherein you will try and take your hands down to the heels. And then if you feel comfortable, you look back or looking forward. Whichever works best, okay? Keep listening to your body and follow this. Most important thing is to tighten your glutes, right? Let's get started. Taking a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Gently leaning to the right side first, and then to the left side if you're going for the heels. And then making sure that the hips are not coming backward. You've got to push them forward. Tighten the glutes. 
If you feel comfortable, look back or else look forward. Let's stay here for five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Gently looking forward, bringing your left hand back, your right hand back. That was quite a bit of a back bend, so we'll just relax our back into Balasana, child's position. Try and bring your hips on your heels. Knees can be apart if that's what is comfortable. Taking the hands a little bit forward and then forehead down. Relaxing here for three breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And then gently lifting your head up. Taking your hands back and now sitting facing me. We are going ahead now for a twist. And the twist is Ardha Matsyendra Asan. A simpler posture but gives you amazing benefit to the spinal health. Taking a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, taking your right foot towards the left side and then the left foot to the right. A simpler version would be you will be hugging your knee and then you'll twist. Want to scale it up, you can take your hand outside of your knee, try and hold the toe and then twist. Whichever works best, go ahead with that. Right foot is outside of your left hip. Left foot is outside of your right thigh. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going with the second version. Twisting and looking back. Keep your back as tall as possible. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Gently turn, coming back, let us change the side. So keep your legs now open wide again. This time your left foot goes outer side of your right hip and the right foot goes to the left side. Again, either you can hug with your left hand or you can cross it. So choose the one that works best, going for it and then twisting and looking back. One, two, Three, four, five. Gently turning your head and slowly coming out of this posture. Right, this was Ardha Matsyendrasan. Moving on to our next one, which is Setu Bandhasana, but we'll have a twist in that. We'll do a variation, Ek Pada Setu Bandhasana wherein your one leg will be 90 and then you will lift your hip up higher, right? So let's fold our legs first, keeping your right leg 90. Now it's possible this might not go fully straight. You can definitely have it slightly bent. Keep your toe pointed. Squeeze the glutes. You will press the left heel to really drive your hip up, all right? Take a deep breath, inhale here. And then exhale. Lift up as high as possible, trying to straighten the right leg. One, a scale down can be keeping your right foot on your left thigh. Two, three, four, five, and then gently lowering your hip. Bringing your right leg down, let's go for the left. Left leg goes 90. Pressing the right heel this time and then lift. One, two, three, four, five. And then gently bringing your left leg also down. Taking a deep breath, inhale. 
Exhale, stretching your legs for once. And for once, let us hug our knees completely. Let's stay here for five. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Let's move on to our last asana, which is going to be a twist. From here itself, bring your knees exactly in line with your hip and knees exactly in line with your ankles. Flex your toe, press your knees against each other. We're preparing ourselves for Jathar Parivartan Asana A, right? Your hands will be to the side. Now, dropping your both the knees down to the right side and looking to the left. Holding it here, one, two, three, four, five. Gently bring yourself back, inhale, exhale to the left and now you're looking to the right side. One, two, three, four, Five. Gently bring your head back to the center and bring your legs back. All right, time for relaxation now. Open the legs wide and lift your head up for once. Look exactly to the center of your feet. Allow your toes to fall down. And in the same line, bring your spine back, head back. Keeping your chin slightly lower, palms facing up. Gently. Closing your eyes, loosen up your body completely, avoid holding any part of your body right now. We'll deepen the relaxation all throughout our body and mind with five Malkar chant humming sound. Going ahead with a deep inhale. And stop humming and starting to observe the changes within the body and mind. Going ahead for five deep inhale and slow exhale. Your body and mind are now completely relaxed. And gently starting to come back to the body consciousness. Sensitize your toes, your palms. Bringing your legs closer. Fold your legs, 
taking a turn to the side. Give rest to your head with your hand. Take a breath here and then gently, with the support of your hands, come up and sit in a comfortable position. Keeping your back straight. Let us settle down all the energies of our today's practice with one omkar followed by three shantis. Palms back to your heart space. Inhale. Om Shanti 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 Gently starting to rub your palms, creating a good amount of energies. Bringing the warmth of your palms to your face, energizing yourself. Looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friend, we are at the end of our today's session. Do let me know in the comment section, how did you find this session and on what topic you want me to create my next video. I'll see you in my next session very soon. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye. Namaste.